Okay. Okay. Hi, Neil. Um, so I've got uh, uh, three of the climbers uh, or my lab rat to use um, the gear you sent us. And uh, this is uh, uh, Garrick and Andy and Shannon. Garrick and Andy are uh, both at some guides. So uh, this is a, I forget which piece, this is a Zypher study. What do you think of it? It's great. February was uh, really wet here. Yeah. You know, snowed, I think, uh, 28 out of 28 days. Yeah. And uh, a lot of wet snow, a lot of warm snow. And uh, so being synthetic parka, it actually was a great storm jacket. I felt like I was out in a lot of wet days. Did you, uh, you are, uh, would you take his climbing or skiing? Mostly climbing, right? I took it uh, both, skiing okay, and yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it, worked, it worked well for you? Yeah, so I mean, many of those days it was felt like almost like northwest kind of snow, really wet. And uh, if you're bringing a single layer, you could wear, put this on. It could be dumping on you and uh, it would stay warm when it was wet. It would dry out really quickly. How's it fit? For the climb, the hood was great because it fit over the helmet, but you still had range of motion. A lot of the hoods, your helmet moves inside of it. So, so that, that worked good? I appreciated the hood. I, my, one of my pet peeves is always the extra large is turned to get wider instead of longer, and this mm -hmm. one is is not too bad, although I'd like it a little trimmer. Oh, it fit, how about fits? Would you get that one? Yeah, way? it fits pretty good. You know, one thing I noticed was uh, like if you were uh, climbing, you had a full rack on, typically you wear it to belay, and you can you know, have your harness on, but skiing in it, like skiing in a light mountain harness, yeah. it actually was long enough that you could put a mountain harness over it, mm -hmm. so ski in it and be accessible right there. So the length was good? Yeah, I thought the length was a little bit longer than some jackets, Yeah, and I thought that was good. So you, you, you probably both have synthetic. Uh, do you have anything, Shannon? I'm sorry. How's it fit, fit for yeah, you? Yeah, well, mine's a little trimmer. I, mine's more like a sweater. It's okay. a little thinner. I really liked it because I could wear it under my shell. So okay. it's like another base layer. It was really warm. I think it's the same ja same jacket. Yeah, length is good that way. Well, I think it's a little different. It's a little. It is a little bit different. Like, yeah, I think it's meant more for a sweater. It was awesome, and it was like water is. I don't know about waterproof, but water resistance. Raining one day, I was wearing it. it was warm, dry. So it worked awesome. well. Yeah. So uh, if you had, uh, I know y'all have synthetic uh, mm -hmm. jackets just like this. Would this be the first one out of your closet? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, one thing I'd like is another one that I've got has a big oversized inside pocket. I like to take my climbing glove off, stuff it in there, keep it warm, put my belay gloves on when I'm sitting out of belay. Okay. Uh, something like that is nice, but in terms of, of fit and function, other than that, it was. How about you? Yeah, yeah I feel like I've got, I've got jackets that are synthetic, a little bit thicker. Yeah. And then some that are a little bit thinner, and it seems like this is sort of a good, like, you basically go to insulated jacket. You can kind of take it one jacket for most days. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, take that one off. I can't remember which one this one is. It may not be the same as these guys. I think it's different. It's a, it's a really great layer, though. It's really warm. I'm sorry, Neil. I, um, I, I can't remember what jacket this one is, but yeah, it's not quite as heavy as these mm -hmm. guys. It's like, it's more like a sweater. Yeah. It's great, but I wear it to work. I wear it, you know, running. So you've been wearing it? Yeah, I wear it under, you know, when I'm skiing down under my shell or climbing. It's been awesome. I love it. Good. Is it, how does it compare to your other pieces? Would you, is it full um, Well, I don't, yeah, no, I have another sweater like this from Mont, or Mont Bell, a little thin. And I really like this one because it's got a big hood and it's small and compact. I can throw it in my pack. Okay. I really like it. Long too. Look how long it is. This is what like in the butt. So it keeps your butt warm. Okay. That's nice. Awesome. Love it. So anything you improve? Um, I think it needs one more inside pocket as well. Just so you can put like your phone in there so your phone doesn't get wet. And that's a medium. It seems like it fits you fucking perfect. It is. It's mm -hmm. a, yep. It's definitely too. Zip it all the way up. Is it too narrow in the neck? Or no, it fits you good? this is awesome. Perfect. Good. Yeah. Okay. Good. So you like the fits pretty on then, huh? That's the most important. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like a small thing, but I noticed the other day climbing with this thing is a, what is it? They, they have a stow pocket in here, which is good. If oh, stow pocket for the jacket. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're climbing like a pitch or two, that's nice. You, just, you don't have to mm -hmm. carry a pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's kind of a weird shape. It's like, uh, ends up being this like, hey, check this out. It ends up being this uh, um, sort of like, like a little mini sleeping bag and the clip is in the middle, so it. Oh, so it doesn't hang. So yeah, so it sort of feels like you got this like, I'll show you. It's a. Huh. It's almost like uh, it's just a. So it doesn't hang on your harness well. No, it doesn't hang well. Like it. Uh, no. Might yeah. step on the pack. Then on the yeah. So you get this thing closed up. Yes. And. Yes. Seems like these things work. Yeah. Well. Okay, so you get this thing zipped up. And maybe you get this thing. Zipped up. <laughs> yeah. It seems like you need a toggle on that zip thing. Yeah, that made it longer. 
That seems like sort of normal. They like it's nice to put little zippers in here. They're kind of hard to yeah get in, but okay. Bears need to be doing all this film. Okay, so. <laughs> but anyhow, you get the point. So it hangs like off of this tag here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so it, uh, when it hangs, it's sort of like diagonal, and it just seems like it takes up a lot of like a lot of space yeah. side to side and kind of long. Or maybe if they had another one, you could even hang it along your back. Yeah, even like a little shorter, wider, with it like coming off the the end or mm -hmm. just something to think about. It just seemed like it carried a little bit strange, and it was low enough that you know once it was on a beaner that I was like almost worried about. Get Catch a spike on it. Yeah, okay. Show me that again, please. So get with your cramp on, yeah. Yeah, so if it's on your harness, you would catch that with your cramp on. Okay, let's take a look at the, you know, you, you got your, uh, you guys go grab your soft shell jacket and then we'll talk about those pants for you. Neil, you know, we never get, get pants for the guys, I don't think. Um, so, and, uh, do you like those pants? I love these I can't pants. remember which ones those are. I don't know either, but they are so stretchy. And they fit nice and trim. They got these things on here for my crampons. So you like them? They I fit love you good. them. Those yes. are eight, uh, sixes, I think? These are eights. Eights, yes. and they fit so you perfect. They do. And they, but they stretch, so I can wear like long johns underneath them and, and stretch and move. How are those and, like, weird zippers in the front? Are those well, okay, the zippers? I like it, yes, because then they're not on the side and they don't get in the way of your okay. harness. Okay, perfect. And um, yeah, I really like them. Any things you change on? No. I couldn't think of anything. Do you, oh, uh, this is cool too. It's got a little like gator thing in it. Awesome. And then you could add that and put it around your boot. Um, add a little like, uh, you know, stretchy bungee and put it around your boot so it would stay down. Right, right, you right. Too, which is nice when you're hiking through deep snow. Yeah, I really like them. I love the material. Let's go ahead and stop that. Can you go get your camera? Okay, so now we're going to talk about uh, we got on the Valkyrie hoodie, I think, or the Valkyrie jacket. Go ahead. How'd you, how'd you like it? Uh, I, I loved it. I did some ice climbing when it was just dumping snow and felt like good protection. And, you were uh, good? Wind, windproof, shed the, shed the snow pretty well. Um, I'm pretty tall. Sleeves are always an issue with me when I reach up to, to swing. They full down and I get crap and water down them. Now this is an extra large, right? It is an extra large. So the length isn't right for you. It shouldn't be that. Yeah, the sleeves are too short. You know, and that, that's that's the problem I run into with most manufacturers is I prefer the sleeves. How tall are you? About 6'3". Okay. Okay. But it's mostly, when I'm walking around, it's fine, but it's when I'm reaching up with an ice tool that they, that they tend to creep up and get some water down the wrist. I, I, I don't think that one's uh, waterproof. I just so we start with soft shell. So anything, uh, anything to change? Um, besides the length, uh, again, a, a chest pocket I think would be more useful than the shoulder one to slide a cell phone or whatever you need in there to keep it protected. But other than that, it, it, you worked okay. The rest of the fit was good and the protection was good. I know you probably have another one of those. Would this be the first out of your closet? Uh, it'd be, yeah, it'd be right up there. I'd say pretty equivalent with the other pieces I have. Okay. Anything else? Um, no. No. Do you have anything to add about that? I mean, if you're going to have something to forward. Yeah, I thought that at first I was like sort of worried about it's just kind of thick hood or brim on the hood. Yeah, yeah. But then actually when you had it on over a helmet, it fit really nicely and gave you good visibility, kept the snow off. So. How was the neck when the zip is up? I guess I don't know if you'll do that. But. Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, it was okay with the helmet? Yeah. So it's yeah. helmet compatible. Yeah, yeah I, I did end up having to do a climb with it fully zipped up and the hood on over the helmet. It worked good. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I mean uh, this and also the other jacket, they uh, they did a nice job of tucking the little uh, all the little poles inside. Yes. So you're never like you're never clipping um, waist poles or you know like all of them are. I'll show you this one too. It's, oh, they're all tucked inside. Yeah, they're all. Yeah. They're all internal, which I think is it's sort of clever. Like they, uh, so you're not you're, there's no chance of like actually clipping anything. Like oftentimes they'll get caught up in your mm -hmm. gear or your like ice clippers. <laughs> right, right, right. And so the they're 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 trim. Or you'll clip a piece of gear yeah. onto the loops, which is a trim waistlines, yeah. Bad deal. Yeah. Uh, anything for you, Shannon? Because uh, Shannon, I think, has the same jacket. It's a Valkyrie, it's just a woman's coat. Yeah, I love mine. It's long enough for my yes. arms. And, <laughs> and that's a medium, too, right? This is a medium. Yeah, medium fits you well. Yes. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, and it's longer in the back again. I really like it. It's trimmer. Okay. So, um, which is great, but it also means I can't, if it's really cold, I can't layer underneath it as much. But the, then I just put a layer on top. 
So yeah, does that, that make sense? Yeah, that should be your uh, out, outside layer for ice climbing, though. Yeah, so it's almost like I should have maybe gotten a large, but it would be hard to know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, nearly always, though, we have a thin layer and this, and that's what we're climbing, and then we throw a blade jacket yes. over the top. Over the top. Yeah, so yeah, I did climb in this when it was cold, and um, with the sweatshirt underneath, it was great, it was warm. I Again, I was in the rain the other day, and things beat it off of it when I was skiing, and Good. did not get soaking wet in it, it was great. Would you, uh, is it any uh, jackets you have, another manufacturer you'd like better? Um, I don't know if I like this one better, but this is my other soft shell, okay. and it is a large. So this is, is that the ROM jacket? I don't know. Marmot yeah. ROM, looks like the Marmot Yeah, Marmot. and this is, I just put over, I can put this over a lot of things. I have one of these too, the advantage I would have, uh, the reason I would pick this one at times is if I was doing something aerobic, the panels on the side are more breathable. In our climate, we're going to get, we're going to get wet from our own sweat, not from not, not from outside. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're in, you know, Seattle. I got one wrong. I really like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so really so like the stretch it. panels help you breathe a little bit better. And um, But again, this one fits bigger, so I can put more layers underneath. Is that a medium, too? This one's a large. Oh, it's a large. Okay. Yeah, and I got that for that. Okay. So. So, um, I've never seen any guys wearing yeah, face before. Mm -mm. This is their top. So would you change your mind about more face? Now? Yeah, definitely. These are some of them. Definitely, yeah. I like it a lot. So do you yeah, know the, the gear's all been a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything else to add about it? Colors. Yeah. Well, I, I ordered a black. <laughs> that might be. <laughs> 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 it looks like the perfect color to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going great. Um, if it had bright green or purple. <laughs> I, I love that. I'm really happy with these paints. Yeah, I, I know you like the paint. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, well, thanks a lot. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if Neil will stay. Neil, they want more gear. We do. We love we'll it. We'll hook you up. Purple. All right, I'll tell you guys. Thanks. Thank you.